But first, we're going to talk about football and the Big Easy. New Orleans will be hopping on Monday night. The city is hosting the final bowl game in college football, the BCS Championship. This year, it's between number one ranked LSU and number two, Alabama. But some say the BCS system is seriously flawed. Joining us now is Bruce Feldman, a senior writer with CBS Sports and the author of the New York Times bestseller, Swing Your Sword. Good morning, Bruce. Hi, guys. How are you doing this morning? Doing well. So this year, I suppose it's easy. We have a number one versus a number two, but that's not the case every year. Why does college football continue to be the only NCAA sport which does not have a national championship game? Well, I think you have to get back to the original premise of this is it's really the people who run the sport. They simply didn't, the power brokers of this simply did not want a playoff because as long as they had their bowls and, and some of the, the connections and the tie-ins that they had, this was kind of their, their fiefdom and they weren't ready to give that up even for more money because they didn't want to relinquish control. So they created the BCS system about 15 years ago and it, the BCS basically is to ensure a one versus two matchup which we didn't have it every year before but the structure around it is is very murky and uh, there's always a lot of frustration and this year is no different and it's beyond frustration I mean sometimes we've heard the president get involved you hear Congress people calling for investigations I suppose that has to do with interstate commerce but isn't this just an argument best left for the bar stool I mean, why such a sort of high profile national conversation about college football because I think fans get really worked up about how their school or their team in their state got left out by the, of the structure because they did not either play in the right league or did not have some kind of allegiance some way or the other and you know this is People look at it, as you said, this is the only sport where you do not have an actual playoff to decide the champion. And there are teams out there that just completely really have no realistic shot of playing for a national title, even though they may be as good as some of these other programs. Bruce, you've got lawmakers from states like Utah who feel like they always get shut out, railing against this system. But is there really anything that Washington can do about it? I don't. I, I really don't think so. I think that's being unrealistic. I mean, quite frankly, you know, I'm, I think Washington and the and people over there have a lot more issues that are more pertinent to deal with than college football. You know, ultimately, I think we will get some change going forward where we could have maybe a plus one in the next couple of years, which would be a mini playoff. But you're still going to have, no matter how you turn it, there's still going to be a lot of people who are frustrated about how they are left out of the system or how it's unfair, but the reality is, you know, nothing in life is fair, and I just think people are always going to be upset or, or feel like they're getting screwed out of something. Not what the Boise State fans want to hear, for sure, but, but tell me how a plus one or something like that could work. Well, what you're talking about basically is, is the best four teams or the designated best four teams getting into it at the end of the year. It's still got to be hashed out to see if uh, the people who run the sport, the power brokers atop the conferences, and the major conferences, the SEC, the Big Ten, the Pac-12, if they're going to really decide, you know, we're going to go with a plus one model when the contract is up and people start looking at that in the off season, And that's something that potentially could come together in, a, in a two years, and basically it would be in January, I think, of 2015 could be the first time we have a plus one, which would be a significant change from anything we've had in college football. But, you know, how they decide who's in those teams, who's in those, you know, whether it's used in the bowl system, where the games are played, all of that stuff, there's a lot of things that need to be hashed out, and all the power brokers at this level with the conferences still feel like they need to discuss it and really kind of weigh it in on both sides of it. One word answer, Bama or LSU? Bama, but I picked them the first time and they lost then too. All right, Bruce Feldman, <laughs> senior writer for Sports Illustrated, CBS Sports, thank you so much. Thank you.